Current students and alumni of the Gero Secondary School on Sunday participated in a cleanathon. The group picked up rubbish along the outside of the school area. The school is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. From a provincial high school to a secondary school, Gerahu Secondary School opened its doors in 1983. Well, Gerahu Secondary School, since it started, uh, now secondary school was high school since it started in 1983. Uh, it has come to uh, 40 years. Uh, it's clocking 40 years in September 3rd. The Cleanathon was an avenue for the school to build momentum through partnership with the alumni and also a chance for students to take part in community service. President of the Alumni Association, Judith Killer, says the partnership with the secondary school is to help the school achieve some of its target activities for the 40th anniversary and also in the long term to help the school complete some of their projects. The school first started in 1983 and between 1983 up to 2022 I did a rough calculation so you'd probably be looking at about 50,000 students possibly who graduated over that time. That's a lot of students who graduated. They've all spread out everywhere across the country um, holding various positions. And as a thank you back to the school, we, the Alumni Associate, Association is keen to reach out to you, contact you, invite you to come back and support with the school endeavours in any way possible. Deputy Principal Administration of Geru Secondary School, Paul Lolia, highlighted the importance of partnership between the school and the Alumni Association. The government has embarked on this uh, the change of curriculum uh, 166 and now they're asking us to take uh, grade 7 uh, up to grade 12 and so definitely we are in shortage of classrooms, uh, science laboratories, uh, libraries, uh, all these things need uh, intervention from you know supporters and uh, sponsors where we do not have it. The government is uh, taking care of the tuition fee free programs which are only the school fees component part of it that uh, does not uh, cater for the infrastructure of the school. So uh, the school desperately needs that and then we are tapping into the alumni where possible if they could assist. Like most schools in the country, Garu Secondary as a government school faces overcrowding and shortage of resource material that continues to plague the teachers and students alike. In terms of uh, textbooks, uh, resource books, uh, we don't have any because uh, to do with the new uh, uh, syllabus, uh, uh, SBC, uh, we do not have the, the student uh, textbooks or resource books. So uh, teachers are having a strain, they looking for ways to, to do their lesson plans. The school has incomplete classrooms that could cater for the growing population. The school has taken on grades 7 and 8 as part of the new 166 curriculum, but the lack of available classrooms is a concern. The commitment has never been honored by the Department of Education and so these uh, projects are being left unattended to as, as they are rotting away and decaying or whatever and then breaking down. The only way forward is for public-private partnership and the alumni is spearheading the move and are appealing to former students of Gero High School and Secondary School to participate. The Alumni Association right now, our role is just to tie everybody together and reach, reach out as much as possible, help identify and make known the school's needs. And then through all of our various contacts, through all our former classmates and everything, we all come back and help pitch in. Contact with the alumni can be made through their Facebook page. Fidelis Sukina for Inside PNG News.